thanks to Erin for getting me started back on this Egyptian goddess nut because I've heard of her before, but I kind of overlooked how important she was. She was a huge deal in Egyptian mythology and history and all this kind of stuff and what have you. So um, I'll get into her in later videos because for right now I just want to focus on this. I do think that they are subliminally programming people to accept this new cycle, this new age that we are in or, or we are just right at the edge of, whatever the case may be. You know, a lot of people think that 2012, that's what it was, is the, was the transition into this new age. I don't know. I believe it. But regardless, we're here. And I even caught CNN, right? I even made that video a couple, what, a month or two ago, how them themselves were saying the new normal because of the Paris terrorist attacks and all this kind of stuff. So I think they are hard hitting and, and, and really subliminally hitting home and programming people about this rebirth, this new age, this this new cycle, whatever. Because here you have this goddess Nut, right? The ancient Egyptians believed that Nut swallowed the sun god Ra every night and gave birth to him every morning. Okay, and what's interesting is that Ra's real name, the actual name is Amun, or A-M-O-N, which would just happen to be Bundy's name, Amon Bundy. I don't think that's coincidence, because all these stories, whether they're always going to be rooted in some sort of occultic background. This is how it goes with the mainstream and the news all together. And then they had this in the news just recently, too, a couple days ago, the oldest living animal, a tortoise named Jonathan, right? And that makes me of the earth, which would be the oldest living thing around. And the tortoise is the one that's shown carrying the earth on its back. And then Dreams Within Dreams talking about this today, this is where I found this from, was from her, because she's talking about how she thinks it's subliminal programming, too, is the Google Doodle is this these mountain of butterflies. If you click on it, you'll learn it's the the tribute to the 45th, 41st, excuse me, which is, hey, there's your five, your fifth age, 41st year or annual tribute of some crap, I don't remember. But it's the mountain of butterflies, and the butterfly represents evolution, represents change. So in our case, we're devolving, but regardless, it just seems like we're getting hit pretty hard right now at the beginning of the year, when just a month ago you had the mainstream media coming out and saying, new normal. So I think it's very strange we're getting hit with all this stuff because it seems like to me that they are subliminally programming people for the rebirth, the new age, the new cycle. Because hold on one second, because here we go, right on St. John's Cathedral, a mega church in New York. This is it's a birth. Whenever this stuff goes down, they're programming us for this birth. This new world, same old order. That's why the Hoover Dam is, I believe, 100% that thing is going to go. It's the water breaking. It's all very, this is all just subliminal programming. All this stuff is very symbolic. That is downright creepy. And the fact that no one even asks about this stuff blows my mind. That's, that's, it's just unbelievable. Every day. It's like the same, every day is like I just learned about this stuff because every day it still blows my mind how people just look the other way and don't even question something like this carved on the side of a cussing megachurch. Wow. Thank you to my subscriber subscribers. Thank you to Aaron. And thanks to Dreams Within Dreams again for covering this because I would have missed this. So just an awful lot of stuff all at one time. I've said enough. Thanks for listening.